<laughs> Completely ruined the video. That's the only set of shoulders gonna be recorded. Hey, welcome back to I think it's day ten of walking with Brian. Today we hit shoulders. We're just at school. It was shoulder. I didn't record the shoulders because I mean, you know, you will see one clip of shoulders, but I didn't really record because I was kind of on a time crunch. I didn't really want to pull my phone out type stuff. What's this mail? What? What's that? Marines? Oh, true. Look at, oh, 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 we got to block the address. Look at that. It's mail for me. But let's get back to the video. So, yeah, shoulders. The shoulders earlier. It's going to be chest. Chest is gonna consist of just dumbbell incline. I don't know when we are, we're gonna start off with barbell. Probably, I don't know. I, I like dumbbell incline better. But well, what else is there she have about? Our day? I mean, coach was not on any. What, what do I call What do you even call it? I, no, no, no. I'm not gonna call it fake lifting because power lifting is not fake lifting. It's just a different aspect of lifting weights. Because a lot of people lift weights for different reasons. My real reason for lifting weights is one, it, it's kind of a mix of both powerlifting and bodybuilding. Because I do want to get stronger and I want to build my physique. So, other than that, should we any, anything else to talk about? Hmm. You know what I need to learn how to do? I need to learn how to talk slower because this is only like two minute, a two minute segment. But the lifting videos will only add up to about five, ten minutes, probably like 15 minutes. Uh, Yeah, I need to to figure out some more stuff to yap about because i don't know if you guys find a 20 minute video too short but for me i'd personally want to shoot for around 30. <laughs> yeah we are a little sick uh hopefully my strength is not impaired because i kind of want to it's you know it's a little ego thing but i want to lift heavy for you guys but if i can't you know doesn't mean I'm gonna be all bummed out because I can't lift as heavy. <sighs> Other than that, I'm gonna keep this shirt on for right now. I have these pants on. I gotta change out of them. Uh, these white shoes on. I gotta take those off. Other than that, I am gonna take pre this today. So I guess we could skip to that. Well, I know I said we're gonna cut to the pre workout. But, I don't feel like eating. I'm a hungry boy. Okay, let's turn the pan on. Wait for it to heat up. We are going to be having 253 grams of chicken breast. Notice how... I don't think it's any single one of my videos I've made chicken breast. Eating healthy doesn't mean like say, just cause you say someone says high protein diet doesn't mean just chicken breast. Uh, what else? Like protein shakes? No. This is high protein. This is gonna be, to be honest, I don't really know. 
Uh, I'll assume you like, uh, like three hundred and fifty calories with sixty grams of protein or something like that. But you can do that. I'm gonna throw some of this on there. And that's a marinade. Yo, my boy is cracking. But I like the extra flavor it adds. Oh my goodness, I put a block. All right. Whatever. Should we get motivational? I guess so, huh? It's like about something that you want or something that you're holding off. It depends obviously what it is. If it's something that you want to do, but you're say most of the times it's always a fear of no or a fear of it going wrong. You basically uh, what happens if it goes right? What happens if it's a yes? You'll never know if you never take the opportunity. And if you don't take the opportunity, what are you left with? Regret that you didn't do something. So that goes to anything. It goes to, I guess in this context, we could talk about working out. Why would you not start like today? Why would you? Why would you hold off just because you're... What would be the fear of... There's really nothing scary about working out. Maybe, like, going to the gym, you're scared of people judging you. But... What does that mean to... To them? It doesn't really mean much. Most people in the gym are in their own zone. At least I am. And if you're not really in your own zone you're focusing on other people what the heck are you doing you're wasting time but yeah whatever you're thinking of doing you're holding off of off of the fear of it going wrong just do it what the heck you'll end up regretting your choice and maybe when you're really old or just who knows maybe very Maybe maybe recently, but no. Other than that, let's get the stick in there. We talk about what the lift is going to consist of. You know what? I know exactly what I could do. Oh, let me put this in there. So, today it's barely two. We had a short day for school, so. Did I say I was on a time crunch earlier? I'm Kathy. Oh, oh, oh. I was not telling the truth. I have a good, a good, good six hours to one, get my lifting, get cardio, shower, uh, eat. Eat is, is, is eat. eating is what takes more of the day because sometimes I, I just don't know what to eat. But meanwhile, you could make the pre workout while this chicken is cooking. Out. If I see this, or 
Oh no. A good month. Depends how often I use it or how often I lend some scoops to people. But let's get a bottle of water and mix this for coffee. So, again, I've talked about this numerous times. Let's see if I get the focus. Alright. So, L-citrulline for the pump. Again, caffeine here. I know what caffeine does. Theobromine, I'm pretty sure, is theobromine and thinkamine. I might be wrong on the theobromine, but the thinkamine for sure is for focus. Yeah, what else? Delayed caffeine. That's more like for a longer workout. You have delayed caffeine instead of getting it all at once. Sodium, that kind of provides what water retention for a pump, more of a pump. Oh my goodness. Uh, beta, basically for, I guess, an extra few reps at the end. That. I'm gonna this chicken. And we can do the workout. Yeah, we should be, I think we'll put this one in first. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna put oil on the edge of this one. So, same thing. I'm gonna make a funnel out of paper. Same thing, just make a funnel. You could do fold it and then just funnel it into the bottle like that. Or I, here, let me give you guys one over here. Put you guys up a little bit too. I personally like the funnel. But make sure, it's, especially if it's a big scooper, make sure the funnel is an appropriate size. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on. I'm gonna make this bigger. Yeah, it's gonna be too small. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, buddy. We're just gonna do the. What are we going to call it? Um, it's, it's kind of a funnel. It's just not a closed funnel. So. Oh my goodness, I better not drop this either. Put your pre-workout. Like this. Pretty sure you guys can see it. Then. Put it in your choice of beverage. Yo, just like that. Mix it up. And from here, I don't know if you guys even want to see me eat this chicken, but this chicken will be devoured. And we get on to the chest today. The chest workout. So, other than that, 
I see you on dumbbells. All right. So, pre workouts already kicking in. I think it's time to warm up for dumbbell bench. So, we just have 35s on here. Should be a good warm up. Yeah, let's get started. We got 50s on the adjustable dumbbells right now. This should be steady warm up. Again, the main point of the warm up is not to fatigue yourself. So I'm just gonna do like two reps of this. All right. So we'll jump to 60s. All right. So. Got the 60s on there. It's basically, it's technically 62.5s, but let's get this set done. Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> that was i think seven if you don't include no no yeah seven if you don't include the i guess the setup i guess half rip if you want to call it a half rip but if you want to include that first little that technically eight reps but that was a good set all right so i dropped down to the 50s should be a pretty good set. So that was a good set. Let's go down probably to the 40s. Yeah, let's cut to them. All right, I'm ready for another set. It's been like like a minute or two. No, some may suggest I take a little bit more than a minute or two of rest. But I feel ready for another set. Set. So, I'm wondering whether there's so much flies on me. I'm wondering whether to keep doing dumbbell bench or maybe move on to barbell. Oh no, I guess you'll see when I cut to the next set. All right, so I decided to stay on dumbbells. Yeah, let's get the set started. Oh my goodness, the heck. Did I stop this on? Hold up, let me make sure this is still recording because sometimes that stops the recording. Now we're good.
That was a good set with the dumbbells. Huh. Uh, to be honest, this whole workout might just be dumbbell focused. So let's drop it into the 40s and let's get another set. Actually, you know what I've decided to do? I think this is gonna be a, what do you call them? A super set, not a drop set, but. So I'm gonna do dumbbells. When I hit failure on that, I just do. Probably just the bar on barbell for failure. That should give us a good. But the whole point of this is just to. Did you just feel it in the chest? In the upper chest? Hold on, let me explain to you why I just don't do any flat bench. I do flat bench, which is not. Every time I have an opportunity to do incline bench, I'm doing incline bench over flat bench. Because even if you're targeting your upper chest for with free weights, no matter what, you're still targeting your, your lower chest or your, lo your lower chest. When I mean that, I just mean like your, what do you call it? I would just say medial pectoral. I personally don't believe there's such thing as lower pec. And even if you, if you do have it still, even if you have a developed chest, just the weight of the muscle which is going to kind of go down so you don't really even see the lower chest but might be an excuse on my end i just don't hit lower chest hit the barbell <laughs> i'm i'm thinking about dropping down to 40s just repping that out but i think this should be fine and if anything, uh, I don't know how much sets we have done. I think we're about, it should be either five or six sets. No matter what, still gonna be a pretty good pump. So, let's get, pick the dumbbells up. Let's get working on our next set. Come on. Oh my goodness, that's so much of an imbalance. Come on. Come on, you got more. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Other than that, I think we should go check out the pump. So, that's all that calls for chest. Let's check out the pump. Yeah, let me tie these shorts real quick. Oh, I'm feeling pretty pumped. But, let's see the results speak. I can't get this shirt off, I'm so sweaty. Again, coming in with the SeaWorld tank top. I don't know if you want, let me pull this down a bit. Let me get let me take this off. Kind of blocks the pump. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it 
do a few side chests. <sighs> what else is there for chest? Is a front double bicep to kind of show some stuff. Let's do this. Let's get front double bicep going. You gotta make sure not to accidentally pass out while you're posing. Let's see. What, is it, what else is there for side chest? Her side chest for chest. Let's try to get a better angle too. At times I'm like blocking the the view. Let's see. This is not really a chest pose. I was gonna do like a vacuum. Not really much. Okay, now we're just doing random pose for no reason. What else is there for chest? I guess most muscular. <sighs> huh. Oh, I know exactly what, what else there is for chest. Let's do it from this way. It's not really a chest focused pose, but it's more of like chest, biceps, um, what else? That's pretty, that's pretty much it. Maybe like triceps and are added, but other than that, look at this. The lighting's caring right now. Yeah. I'm gonna try to hold on. Let's try over here. I wanna see how it looks right here. So the light's not blocking. Alright, I think right here's more freaky. Let's see. Let me get a most muscular. Whew. Oh yeah. Um, should we hit some other poses in this lighting? Yes, hold up. I guess a uh, lat spread kind of shows the chest. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this right. That's pretty much it. We could talk about the lift. Let's see. Reposition you guys in a better. You can see I'm just sweating, just posing. Whew. But good lift. Uh, a good pump. The light might be carrying the pump, but oh well. You know, what? should we get a shirtless pose down? Let's see. I ate already, so don't mind the extra fluff. Ooh. What else is it? I guess I could do a vacuum. We did a... Uh, take our shirt off. It's uh, another most muscular look pretty good. <sighs> nah, no. Nah. So, other than that, I guess cut to the outro. I just wanna, the lighting's so good though. I'm getting sidetracked. enough all right it's because of the outro well that's all that calls for chest good pump good pose down i know the pose down was kind of extended for 
aesthetically pleasing reasons. This is so uh, <laughs> just was looking good in with the lighting. Other than that, uh, what's tomorrow gonna consist of? What are we hitting tomorrow? To be honest, I'm not sure. Oh, you can see your reflection. Nah, I thought you guys could see the reflection on the wall. Oh, they whoa, who's that? All right, <sighs> but tomorrow will probably be maybe a back day. I think my back is still a little bit sore today, but yeah, it'll probably be good by tomorrow. What else? I guess I can say what I always say. Uh, hopefully, you have a good day. Day seems started. Hopefully, you're gonna have a great one. And yeah, uh, I guess we get a little bit motivational. So, whatever happens in your life, or whatever you're going through right now, just know that. You're not alone. You're never alone. And the more that you know about this world, the more you understand that there's a lot of people going through either way worse or the same stuff that you're going through. And it's more of that connection that really brings some faith that you're going to make it through something. Because a lot of people... I guess don't have that either one person or persons to to look up to. And yeah, so for every one of you guys, even including me, that make it a hundred or a thousand dope. So that being said, this connects us to what I was trying to say earlier. Take chances. Um... Take chances to improve yourself. Take chances to do anything that you're holding off. Stuff like that. Yeah, just know that you're not through anything alone. Anything. But other than, other than that, good chest day. I think I have shoulders in the beginning of this, just a little bit. My boy Aaron recorded a little bit for me. I wasn't. I didn't record shoulders. The reasoning of not recording shoulders because I was on a time crunch. I couldn't. I had like probably like thirty minutes to lift, and I'm not gonna not waste time recording. But I don't want to make the videos too long. So yeah, other than that, I already said other than that a whole bunch of times. But I guess I'll let you guys go until tomorrow.